Good day gamers, welcome to New by Design. Gonna be doing a video here on Destiny 2. We're gonna go ahead and check out Xur's location and items for the week of January 12th to January 14th, 2018 here. As you can see, we are just in the EDZ here and it is gonna be north of the Winding Cove area here. So let's go ahead, approach Xur here and see what he has in store for us here. He's gonna have the Faded Engram as he pretty much always does now since that last update there. That's gonna give you basically an Engram that you haven't unlocked or an exotic weapon or armor piece that you haven't unlocked for me he ended up giving me the jade rabbit which is fantastic because i've been looking for that one for an extremely long time you can see he's also going to be selling the colony definitely recommend you guys pick this one up this thing has just been absolutely devastating trials of the nine such an annoying weapon to fire just because it has those insectoids and in trials of the nine specifically when you go ahead and load power weapon or power ammo you'll go ahead and get four rounds to shoot at this which is usually good for taking out at least two people anyhow for hunter this week it's going to have the shinobu's vow here as well and the main perk on that is going to be new tricks which is improved skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge you can also use the mobility enhancement mob or the increased resilience here. For uh, the Titan this week, it's going to be the MK44 stand aside. Main perk on that is going to be seriously watch out. Grants an overshield when sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped. Hit hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy as well, and you can increase the mobility or the health recovery rate. And for Warlock this week, it is going to be the Stag, which is pretty sweet for Trials of the Nine as well. Main perk on it is going to be the Dearly Departed, which grants Rift Energy when you are critically wounded. On your death, it creates a brief healing rift on your course. So the reason that's such a good thing is because in Trials of the Nine, if you're in a team shoot, when you die, you can also still continue to help the rest of your team. And for that one, you can either increase the resilience or or increase the health recovery. Anyhow, gamers, if you guys found this video useful at all, I sure'd appreciate it if you guys had hit that like button. And if you guys are struggling with anything in Destiny 2, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. I'll see if I can hook you guys up with the video to help you out. Alright, gamers, thanks for watching.